realagriculture.com canola school is brought to you by Syngenta Crop Protection Canada. Okay, Ross, we're going to talk today about micronutrients um, and go through a couple of them and talk about whether we need them or don't need them. What is one of the things we should think about in terms of micronutrients? Well, in terms of copper, copper is not prone to, uh, uh, canola is not prone to copper deficiency. Uh, our cereal crops, wheat, barley, and canola are, they're more uh, prone to copper deficiency where the oilseed crops aren't. So it's very unlikely. If you, do, if you are in an area where with, uh, there is copper deficiency, you want to be dealing with that with your cereal crops. And as long as that's been dealt with with, on, with your cereal crops in a rotation, you should not have any, any issues with, uh, with, uh, with copper. There's a lot of talk about the need for boron. Um, unfortunately, our cell test for boron doesn't work very, you know, particularly well. We have never seen in our work a need for uh, or a response to, to boron. And in some of our soils in southern Alberta, particularly irrigated soils, uh, they're irrigated uh, fairly intensively. It's not uncommon to find boron levels at a 0.2 parts per million, yet we can't get a response to boron. So you can't depend on just, just because your levels happen to be low in your soil, does that mean you're deficient? And really, it's really, in my mind, more a problem with um, having the right soil test to identify when we need it and when we don't, because we certainly can't seem to get that, that response in the field. Yet there's certainly lots of uh, promotion of the need for boron, and I think probably we do have to, do, to look uh, very hard. I know that there's been work up in... Uh, in uh, northeastern Saskatchewan on very sandy soils where they have had response to boron. Okay. But for the most part, uh, most areas across the prairies haven't, haven't responded when there has been work done. Okay, so uh, copper is not important. Uh, boron is sort of a mixed bag. Well, is, is there another uh, micronutrient that's to, important with the canola? To be honest, really boron would be the only one that I, I might be a bit concerned about. If the soil tests were low when you're on very sandy soils, um, then you, you might be concerned. But I think that that would be uh, a rare exception. It would be unusual for that, that situation to occur. Another nutrient that's being uh, identified uh, by some labs is uh, chloride. Uh, we do not have a soil test for chloride that is, that is effective. And I, uh, in all of our trials when we're working with potassium chloride fertilizer, we have never had a response uh, that we could ever say or attribute to, to chloride. Um, so I, I definitely wouldn't recommend chloride to any farmer in Western Canada. It would have to be a very unusual circumstance before I would. Um, and so farmers really need, to, if they do get recommendations for chloride, they really want to be talking to their industry agronomists and maybe uh, our research centre in their area and talking to uh, the people who have been doing that kind of work to see is this really needed and get some uh, good uh, unbiased uh, second and third opinions. Well, Ross, thank you very much for joining us today. Okay.